Hey, what's up guys? This is TP-Link's Deco BE16000. It's a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system that I've already reviewed. Uh, but in this video, I wanna do some speed tests for you guys in its wireless backhaul configuration. So let me actually kick off the test while I'm talking. Um, so my Mac Mini with the M2 chip has Wi-Fi 6T and it is wirelessly talking to this node. And this one is wirelessly talking to another one of these Decos which is hooked up to my ONT, which is kind of like a modem. And so this is, as you guys can see, I have an ethernet cable right here, um, but it's not connected to anything. I'm gonna connect it to my Mac mini shortly. And you guys can see it's just hooked up to power. So that guy is wirelessly talking to this one. So the point of this demo is I wanna show you guys with Wi-Fi 7 devices, you get amazing wireless backhaul speeds. And I want to demo this because, and this is probably not super common um, knowledge, but even though this is wirelessly talking to the other one, I can actually still use the Ethernet ports. And in fact, I get much better speeds if I use the Ethernet ports, even though this is wirelessly talking. So now that I've hooked up, as you guys could see, the Ethernet cord is hooked up to the Deco. Um, I will go ahead and turn off Wi-Fi, as you guys could see right there. And I will kick off, I will re-kick off the test. And you guys will see a drastic increase in speeds. Now my internet speeds are five gigabits per second upload and download. And um, the ports on this Deco specifically are capped at 2.5 gigabits. So the fastest it can do is 2.5 gigabits. And that's pretty much what I'm getting with my internet speed test. So these are crazy speeds. And this is the biggest advantage you get with Wi-Fi 7 versus Wi-Fi 6E or versus Wi-Fi 6. Um, so the wireless backhaul speeds are pretty much just as good as wired backhaul speeds. Now, for my testing, this is around 25 feet away or so uh, from the main one that's acting as the router. And um, I'll do a local speed test as well. In fact, I recently did one. Hopefully my computer didn't go to sleep. Uh, but let's kick off another one. Um, but this is this is the crazy thing. And for this test, this this Mac Mini is going through the Ethernet cable to this deco, which is wirelessly talking to the other deco, which makes its way to a switch, which then from that switch goes to my other PC. Um, and this Mac Mini can support up to 10 gig speeds, so can my other computer. But because the ports of that deco are capping it to 2.5 gigabits, that's the fastest that we're seeing. Um, but this is the main thing. So if you have internet speeds of up to 2.5 gigabits, this thing is phenomenal. Um, even if you don't have any Wi-Fi 7 devices, because that's the, that's the number one thing. Like sometimes I get this question, you know, is it worth getting a Wi-Fi 7 mesh system if I don't have any Wi-Fi 7 devices? And the answer is it depends. Uh, but this is a major component of that because, I mean, look at that. Over wireless backhaul, that's absurd. Um, it's, it's just crazy. That's the biggest thing. Obviously, there's, uh, there's are other advantages. If you actually have a Wi-Fi 7 device, you'll get better speeds. Um, typically, you get pretty good range out of these things. So typically, it's a very, very good mesh system. Uh, but that's the biggest difference that I've seen that translates to real life um, is these crazy fast speeds. So if you guys enjoyed this video, smash that subscribe button. I am using uh, my open speed test. I, not my, <laughs> I am using open speed test uh, to do the local speed test server. I've done a separate video on how to set up a local speed test server. If you guys are interested, I'll link that below. Um, if you guys are interested in the mesh system, I'll link that below as well. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.